Nice good flavors today. You know what I'm saying? I mean, by the candy shop, we got the blue ras. You know what I'm saying? Dookie. This is this, now. It's a couple of these flavors by the candy shop out there. You'll see them later on in the episodes, but they real popping right now. I'm like, yeah, the bag look crazy. It look appealing. I'm definitely gonna have to get into it. So we're gonna crack this joint open and get to the smell. Mm, everybody smell, smell it. Like it smell it. Everybody smell like John. I just want to live in here. <laughs> yeah, Uncle Elroy. Out of yeah. ten, out of ten, what would you rate? What would you rate the smell? No, I get a good eight point five nine. I'm gonna go there. You know what I'm saying? Little nine, little nine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It, it got that blue smell, yeah. right? It, it, it smelled blue, <laughs> blue is purple. Yeah, you know I'm saying it definitely got that blue dip, that blue deep smell. You feel me? Like very smurfful. You feel me? Smurfful. 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 A lot of this candy shit been popping. You feel me? That fruity smelling shit. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight point five. You know what I'm saying on the smell. You know what I'm saying get your look on. You feel me? Love it. She beautiful. If I had to like give it a, yeah, a number yeah, rating, definitely. color and all that, I say eight. Eight. Like you can see the buzz. Like it's real frosty, bitch. Crack him open. Crack him open. You feel me? You got oh, that. On the looks, I could definitely rate this like a. I can. I can rate it another. You know what I'm saying? I can rate it a nine on the looks. I can rate it a nine. Mm -hmm. So far, the candy shop blue rags, man, like we looking good on the ratings. Your rating is real high. You, we, we ain't really over here no solid sevens. Everybody got their preference on what they roll up. You feel me? Backwoods, papers, whatever. We all here doing our own mm -hmm. thing. But it looked like everybody here, we rolling up papers. Yeah, paper gang. You feel me? We got to see what that shit really is. Like, yeah. Yo, I, try, I, I put recommend y'all get some of these, shit. too. What's those? They're going to go ahead, little future rollers from Tyson. You Mike Tyson? A little Tyson joke. Okay, yeah. You know what I'm saying? With a raw, with a raw tip. My, my preferable choice would be the Bob Marley. You feel me? The nice of course. Thing, you feel me? Nice, cool, smooth. You can taste of that. You course. feel me? Of course. All the way through. Bob Marley. Mm -hmm. I gonna vouch. You ever use a grinder when you break down? You no. ever use grinders? No. no. Old school, yeah. baby. Old school, you feel me? We don't really use grinders. grinders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So on the breakdown tip, I can go ahead and look. One hand. One, I can one hand this joint. Yeah. You feel me? You feel me? Get that, get that shit that stuck under them nails. So you, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow, man, that shit feel like candy. No bullshit. Like, like what the fuck? They grew this shit with a blueberry? Like, they grew this in a fucking blueberry batch. <laughs> and, like, another thing, too. Like, what I want to start doing, like... I'm, I'm about to start rating the bags too because like the bags is appealing like sure. if I was to rate this bag I'm giving this bag a 10 bro like yeah, facts like the bag got, got me what you, you giving the bag that's the bag is a 10 so that's the new thing now we, we rating the bag now too man rate fuck it bag, man. yeah man we rating the bag now that's that, 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 that coming in off y'all you feel me we, we, we rating the bags now. Fuck it. The candy shop, blue razz, man, bag, 10 out of 10, man. The back, mm -hmm. you feel me? Like some sweet tarts candy. You feel me? You can scan the back, go right to the Instagram. You feel me? The candy shop, man. So I'm, I'm guessing all y'all flavors is just going to be candy. You feel me? And as long as they busting, that's all that matter. Like like I said, I don't like that fruity to booty candy taste and shit, but you feel me? Make me a fan of the day, man. That's all I'm gonna say. I mean, I seen the connoisseurs rate this a 10 out of 10. So I'm like, let, I got, let me, let my lungs, you feel me, become the motherfucking judge of this shit. You feel me? No, no, let my lungs man. become the judge. You know what I'm saying? I, like, I like that. the fruity shit, though. As long as it smack me, though. I don't like no fruity shit. You feel me? I gotta smoke 30 blunts and shit. We ain't doing mm -hmm. that. You feel me? Tuning into that nonstop going <laughs> called Spin Again. Yeah, it's gonna drop two years ago. Free that free young goon too, man. Little little violation, no nothing too serious. You know, you feel me? All the guys. We get the first 
guys on the skateboard. Like spray more. Is that what you pay for? <laughs> that boots my shit. Why you ask the bitch if this ain't that's what you pay for? <laughs> Boy, you know what you was doing with your bitch for Shout out to my record label, MTM Records. MTM Records, 302 Rick. You feel me? 302 Rick, he coming. You hear me? Yeah, yeah. Link in the bio, all platforms. Okay. You feel me? 302 Rick. You say it all together like a pimp named Slickback. You feel okay. me? 302 Rick. Yeah. All together, you mean? And what I'm gonna do is. We're gonna go to the top, you hear me? Yeah, how old is he? He just turned 20 on Christmas. He oh, a he a young boy. Yeah, he, he a young blessing. boy. He was born on yeah. Christmas, you feel he me? He a young boy. Yeah. You can't deny it. That's a yeah. blessing. You mean? That's a blessing. His, his, his nickname should be Jesus. I mean? Jesus. I mean? I mean? Jesus Christ. King Wade, you yeah. feel me? Yeah, okay. That's all good. That should be. I mean, you break it down. You feel me? So right now, you feel me? We're going to get into... We, we, we're going to get into the first hit. You feel me? We're going to get into the first hit. Shout out to Erica Badu too. That's my old mom. Crush. Yeah, Badu. Like like and I think Badu got her own weed with the with burn with cookies. She just dropped her own flavor. If I'm not mistaken, I definitely want to have that on the review. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's for real kind of fun. Yeah. Sorry, got that Badu. Mm -hmm. I am for real. <laughs> Never meant to make you down to ground. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna We all gonna get one hit, pass it around our first hit. All right, quick with that. What's that? Chicago. What's they call that? Baseball. Chicago. Shotgun. You feel me? Baseball. Yeah, let's let's Chicago this John. You feel me? We're going we're gonna do Chicago two rounds, man. You feel me? You gotta hold in the smoke. Fuck it. As long as you can. And this motherfucker coming off. Purple. Snatcher, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Snatcher exclusive. Where are you from? Uh, we over. You know, the north side of the tire, you feel me? Shout out my boy Miles, you feel me? Creator of Soul Snatcher. It's a blessing to watch him create this shit at Dale State, you hear me? Like, I'm just seeing people on campus wearing this shit. Like, what the fuck is that? Like, all of a sudden, I see him wearing it. I'm like, yo, why everybody keep wearing this shit? He's like, bro, this my brand. I'm like, what? Nigga, making this shit in the door. Oh, he was in his bag. Blossom from Delaware State, made in front of the door. End up getting a, like a little trailer store, you feel me? Like it, um, on Market Street. Okay. End up getting, now he got a storefront. Um, it's they on the middle they, road. They the sneakers? Oh, yeah, you know it. And they got sneakers. The nigga got sneakers. Oh, man. Let me see. Oh. No. Come and on, I had man. them shit for like, I'm the first nigga. I had them shit before that nigga had Come them on, shit. man. Here's Soul like snatchers, man. Comfortable. Look like you can wear them off. You mean just try to put it on? This shit. They just, you, what, what was this shit on uh, Black Panther? Sneakers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> you can wear no. that shit with anything. This not even my size, and they comfortable and they fit. And you can ball with them. I need to throw them in a fucking washer. Yeah. <laughs> I need a pair of soul snatchers. No. Quickly. I'm walking on clouds, bro. And I got a pair of Gucci's on the left. You know they uncomfortable. You feel me? I just got them for the fashion. These comfortability and they fashion, man. Cop your pair of soul snatchers, bro. It's not even my size, bro. I'm going to keep these motherfuckers on. But I ain't going to hold you. I'm high already off that I'm motherfucker. Cooked. I'm cooked off that blue rag, off that blue rag, bro. <coughs> That's rough saying with us. God damn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If blue rags 
the candy shop is on the menu. Buy it. Cop up. Facts. Bro, get all Buy this shit. shit. The candy shop. 10 out of 10, man. You're done. All the way around. Get all you can get. You feel me? <coughs> the smoke, the high, the hit, the cough, the, the sweat. It's that. 10 out of 10, man. Facts. That do okay? What's it that? Your man's phone a cricket. I got to say, I know I, 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 I was going to kill phone. the shit out that cricket. That motherfucker was in here. <laughs> Fuck that cricket though, he was gonna be in my motherfucking basement. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm like, this is the fucking smart house. There ain't no way no cricket in this motherfucker. Yeah, I was gonna kill that motherfucker. Laying in the country, I'm motherfucking in the sticks in there. God damn, bro, this blue grass. The high, 10 out of 10. The first hit, 10 out of 10. Taste, 10 out of 10. The kicking, 10 out of 10. And the high, 10 out of 10. Like, that like, shit is it. This is it. Like, no cap. For those who don't know, I'm sitting here with the infamous, legendary Jamel Jackson, man. I promise you, man. Back when I was in high school, you can ask anybody, this nigga was the GOAT when it came down to that running back shit, bro. Like, how did you prepare yourself to even, you feel me, do what you did on the field, bro? Because, like, <coughs> man, I seen, we watched film of you. You was the main, like, when it came to play you, yeah, we got hot to this week. Oh, we got to we got to keep Jamal Jackson. We gotta watch him. We watch him say we we gonna smack that nigga. We gonna get mind you. I don't know you around this time. We gonna get him, bitch. We ain't get in the game. Boop, 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 boop. Like, how did you you feel me prepare yourself to even do all that shit on the field, bro? Like, <coughs> to be honest with you, it started early. You feel me, like. My cousin Dame Daniels, like he one of like one of the I'll be honest with you, he probably one of the best trainers on the East Coast. Yeah. You feel me? He um he went to Cam to High play quarterback. You know, he went to Dell State play receiver. Got um if I'm not mistaken, I'm gonna say drafted, but he played in the NFL for the Bengals. He got, you know, a free eight. Either way he played for the Bengals. You yeah. Know, like, Mm. It's like 99 or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So I come back and he like, I come back from, from Virginia because we moved and shit. So when I come back from from Virginia, I'm around like 11. This nigga takes me under his wing. He teaches me everything. Okay. okay. Mind you, outside of that, I'm playing sports. I'm playing football in Virginia. You feel me? I'm playing for the project teams in Virginia. I'm playing for the teams. I, I end up moving to Maryland. I play football in Maryland. Yeah. Come back to Delaware, I play football here, so now I got a real measurement of my skill across yeah. multiple states, so I really know okay. what I got to offer. You dominated in them other states as well, just like you did in Delaware. Exactly, that gave me that okay. confidence that like, oh, okay, like this shit ain't just like, you feel me, like no coincidence, like I can really do this shit, like, mm -hmm. so he seen that, he seen I had that every type of shit, like once he first seen me play, yeah. he made, I'm his little cousin, like. So he's like, I'm ready to really show you the game. He showed me how to break down coverages, defense, showed me how to run routes. I was already playing quarterback. How how old was you around this time? I'm like 12. Oh, so you, like yeah. Like 11, 12. You, you young. Me? So I had to hit start. Yeah. You feel me? God, and I'm going to be honest with you, I had God given ability. You feel me? Mm -hmm. My mom, you feel me? Got a full scholarship, track, temple. Yeah, Man. so that that athleticism is, yeah, that is born into your body, like, into your blood. You feel yeah. me? Your blood and bone, your body. That shit, it, that shit up in you. That's a good amount of family members went to college early on and all that for sports. So he just showed me the game. You feel me? Like showed yeah. me the game, and then as he showed me the game, I became a student of the game. So I just watched nonstop film. That's all yeah. I did. Watch nonstop all the running backs, all the top running backs. Emmett Walter. You feel me, Barry definitely was my favorite. Mm -hmm. you know, I had a couple other ones there, Dickerson. There's a couple, you feel me? I had yeah, a couple old of them on the list. Yeah. Like, these the kids NFL don't know network. nothing about these running backs right yeah, now. No, Because you feel me, we had the NFL Network. We yeah. had YouTube. Like, you had to watch mm -hmm. what was on TV. I NFL think we were with the NFL Network, was like 180. Yep, like 180. Somewhere. 180 on Comcast. <laughs> Bro, I used to watch that shit. No too. Yeah, yeah. Facts. So I just used to watch all the highlights and shit. And what I would do is, I never like I never like fantasized about people. Like, I always had a competitive spirit, so I never like looked at nobody like, damn, I want to be him. All I looked at people like, damn, and when I get in his position, mm -hmm. this is what I'm going to do. But so I look at all their weaknesses type mm -hmm. shit, like what not to do, not so right. much of what they already doing. I don't know how, as a kid, would told me this shit. Like I don't know, yeah. you feel me? So 
And that's what it came. And then I was like, just train myself type shit. Like, I just go outside, just be running nonstop and just cutting, acting like motherfuckers there. Like, mm-hmm. I always had that will to just, you feel me, like, train my mind and shit. Yeah. So it just it just started incorporating. The older I got, the more I kept getting into it, the more I started lifting weights and shit like that, yeah. the more I became a student of the game. You feel me? And okay. that shit just all went into one outside of the town. Yeah, that's, that's, that's decent because, like, I played sports coming up too, so I definitely can feel where you're coming from, vouch where you're coming from. But it's like I and I and I had that same thing, like somebody bringing me up in the wing. But you feel me? He ended up doing what he had to do. You feel me? Going to the army before high school. You feel me? So you feel me? Shit happens. You dominated in high school. You feel me? What you what you averaged like over a thousand yards? You feel me? A, a season. My freshman year, I was splitting carries with, uh, I was at Brandywine with another ring back, I had like 500. Yeah. Uh, my sophomore year, I had like 2,100. Uh, junior year, I had like 17, something like that. Right. Uh, senior year, 2,000. You feel me? So yeah, you was you was running out there, literally. Man, you was running. About nine in the box type shit. Literally two corners, everybody else right here. Exactly. And, and I can vouch for that, man, because that's what we had, that's what we ran, because when we played each other, it was muddy out there, so Word. we couldn't even pass. And they like, yeah, and the, the whole fucking, the rumor was like, yeah, Jamel Jackson, he got these spikes, they six, they six inches, they 12 inches. I'm like, damn, he gonna step on my fucking hand. <laughs> You feel me? We young boys, like, still, like, that's all, like, the whole rumor was like, oh, yeah. Oh, shit, that was a this, rumor. Like, that was a rumor. The rumor was he had 12, 6-inch motherfucking spikes, bitch, and he was going to be able to run in the mud, man, like no other. So, <laughs> we on our shit, like, niggas like, man, we going to smack that nigga. Fuck that. Don't fuck about them spikes, but, bitch, in my head, I'm like, man, he stepped on my motherfucking man with the motherfucking 12-inch spikes, bitch, I'm done. Where my gloves at? Fuck that, bitch, and I think I got my hands wrapped that game, bitch, don't never get them taped. I said, fuck that, I need all the pattern I can get to this game. But yeah, bro, it was tough, and I that think you still real. ran over 100 yards that game, and it was fucking muddy. Like, the whole field was mud, you couldn't even see the markers. Yeah, you feel me? Like, that shit was real, like... I want to say the two records that I know for sure, well, I create... See, this is the thing niggas don't be getting. This, I'm going to be honest with you, because, like... Um, I had this conversation with somebody recently about it, like, so he was, like, saying, like, basically, like, how this shit becomes. So I had to reiterate to him, like, you gotta go back into it. You go to Google's and all this shit, like. This shit's there. There was nobody with no record before me, like. You feel yeah. me? The record was be cr- created because I had that amount of number, like, the 6,000 yards, like. Yeah, that's phenomenal, bro. That's where, that's a, that's the, that's, that's a phenomenal in high school. You feel me? It was no record though. It was no such thing ever as a record though. Like the record was created on that shit. So you feel me? Like was that record? I got most consecutive hundred yards. It was like 40, 40, 40, like 35, 40, some shit like that. What game straight with hundred yards? Yeah. Since mm-hmm. since I started, cause I ain't like I said, I ain't start my freshman year and shit like. So I was at Brady one my freshman year. You feel me? Yeah. So um, it was a little issue with the freshman. <laughs> You feel me? Starting yeah. over some of these booster club parent uh, kids on the team and shit. Okay. So I had to get shit nah, around man. every every. But these motherfuckers is paying into the into the football team. Yeah. These parents have been they paid two three years of money into this fucking team. Like, mm-hmm. you feel me? So now this little new nigga come along. They don't like that. Yeah, like, they don't like the look. They don't like the look of it. They don't like the smell of it. They don't like nothing. I wasn't even going to come to Brandywine. Like, I had scholarships to Sally's and fucking St. Mark's and more shit for basketball, though. That's the crazy shit. Man. I went to basketball coming into high school. Okay. So, I was with the Brandywine because of, of my cousin Damien, the coach. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. he, he the one that showed me shit. Like, why well, wouldn't I go follow this motherfucker? <laughs> yeah, why, why wouldn't you? Like, it's the blueprint. Yeah, so they was bitching about me playing, and so they had to shift me around every game to start a different position because wherever I started that week, they was that pair was bitching about me starting over their kid. Okay. Long story short, fifth game of the season, running back get injured. Mm. You feel me? You keep pulling this hand. Open the right up. My first game start with 100. I got 100 yards ever since. Cook them. Cook you know, Delaware. Yeah, 100 yards every game ever since. Like, I ain't never not had a 100-yard game. Like. What about in the Blue Gold game? 
I ain't never played Blue Gold. I ain't never fucking played Blue Gold. I fucking right. I, that was on me. That was so me. So you had six thousand rushing yards in high school mm -hmm. and then play a Blue Gold game. Nah, that was me and my bullshit. Like, did you get picked to go? Yeah, I got picked for like three different All Star games, but then I ended up catching a drug charge. You mm. feel me? Like, yeah, I had a little. So the drug charge was the reason you couldn't go to the Blue Gold game. Originally, but then they reached back out and I was yeah. just on some on some petty shit like nah fuck y'all nigga like y'all said fuck me when y'all see me dad on this shit you feel they me slander you all slander the shit name and all that like, and all this other goofy yeah. shit you feel me like that shit was real bro and what that happened what, what, what year was this two thousand and what nine mm. two thousand nine my senior year going in I mean yeah. going out and like you feel me but this is the thing people don't know too. Even with that fucking drug charge, I still had all them scholarships. Still. Like that same week, they all flew in there. All the top was Michigan, Rutgers, you feel me, Louisville, yeah. all the big niggas, they all flew Damn. in. Damn. They flew in all So, the hold up, you had D1 scholarships from Delaware mm -hmm. in Hassan, 6,000 yards, still on top of a drug charge. Mm hmm. You feel me? Like Rich Rodriguez, all these niggas that y'all see on TV that was these coaches, these, I had personal relationships with these niggas. Like Greg Shion, all these people, I had real live relationships with them. Like, we, we really used to talk on the phone and shit like that on the regular. Like, and to be real with you, that shit used to get a little annoying because, like, my phone was running nonstop. Like, my mom used to get annoying about this shit, though. Yeah. Like, you feel me? Like, I, what's it called? Like, like I wake up my shit. I wake up to all the calls and shit. Recruiting was a motherfucker. I was loving it, but it was also a hassle because, like, this is what people don't understand about recruiting. When you heavily recruited, the shit is stressful. Yeah. Because you got people mm -hmm. doing shit and, and pulling you all these different type ways. Yeah, agents approaching me and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Like, dog, it was a lot of shit going, a lot of shit going on. on. <laughs> yeah, that shit gets stressful after a while. Yeah. You like, know. seriously, but just hearing that, you feel me, that it's possible to get them D1. You feel me? Scholarships. For sure. For from sure. Delaware, you feel me? A small state, small cities in it. Like, it's only probably one city in this state. You feel me? Everything and, uh, else is suburbs. Like. And niggas is little, so niggas can't make no excuse. I wasn't no big 6'2", 200 pound prototypical size Not nigga. Like, facts. you feel me? Like, it's effort. That's all it is. Like, coaches can see when you got this right here. Like, you feel me? Like, that's what I had mostly over niggas. I had this right here. Like, yeah. You feel me? Like when the niggas think they great stop me, I got this right here to let you know you're not about to do that shit you think you about to do. Like, <laughs> you feel me? And I'm not talking Trump, about it. And I'm you not saying shit. You. Like, you gonna make it happen. However you gonna make it happen. But you gonna avoid that motherfucking tackle. But just for motivation purposes, they, you feel me? It's possible. It's Rutgers, Louisville, Michigan, ECU. Um, JMU, UDDSU, I had all them sophomores. So, where did you end I up mean, going? I not them sophomore, junior, but I ended up uh, originally yeah, where going. where did you end up going? So, originally, I ended up leaving from Hodgson going to Hardgrave Military Academy. We was the number one prep school in the nation and shit. Blowing niggas out 66, nothing. That shit was disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Me, Martavius, Bryant, you feel me? Like, NFL niggas was up, Doug Williams, uh, Jr., We had some dogs, like, that shit was yeah. crazy. Young, I mean, boy from Philly, Fred, right? was like 6'8". This nigga was like 320 doing backflips and shit, like, yeah. fast as shit. Like, shit, unbelievable. Like, we had bomb squad. Yeah, yeah. I'm at the uh, Juco at Nassau, uh, Nassau Community College. There's some streets out, huh? Mm-hmm. Cooked them. End up going to Toledo. You feel me? Had some little family issues. Came mm -hmm. back to Delaware State. I mean, that's where I finished up. Yeah, long road, long motherfucking road. Yeah, man, and it, and it get it get rough. You feel me? Dealing with the environment where we from. You feel me? Because like everybody don't got it easy, but you feel me? Like we learn from our lesson. Like even me, like like I wasn't playing football in college, but I got locked up my freshman year in college for selling weed. You feel me? October. So you dig it. Like, I did this whole summer program, got in trouble. Anything that I did, you feel me? Next time I was in trouble, it was over for me. And it got hard. Like, you feel me? College, when you ain't got that full push, you feel me? That full support, it get hard. You like, fuck it. Like, I'm going to do what I'm used to doing. And that shit was so spread, so wide open, and the money was flowing. It was like, fuck it. I'm just going to do what it do. College rough. 
Yeah. And it was funny because, like, when I got caught, I lied to my, my folks and shit. Like, yeah, man, I was only holding that shit for my peoples, man. And they, so I'm like, I hope they mo like, my pop and my mom probably was looking at me like, nigga, you fucking lying, nigga. That was shit. <laughs> like, I had to lie. Like, you know what I mean? I was still 18, so you feel me? But that shit happens, like, a couple years down the line, you ended up having a kid. You feel mm -hmm. me? MJ. In college. I was playing, yeah, I was start running back at Dallas State with, you feel me, with a two-year-old. I got this nigga on campus with me, too. You feel me? He's staying on campus and all type of shit with me. Like, yeah. I got, you feel me? He's walking to the calf halls with me. They, everybody know this nigga. Like, wow. the calf people go ahead, got him. Soon they see him come in there. They get his, get him his little plate, get his shit together, you feel me? And they get him some shit to take back to the room with me. Like, Yo, that's love, bro. Like, right. that's love, like. And in this and for him so young seeing all that and you was playing football, mm -hmm. that shit embedded in him, bro, because the first time I see that nigga run a ball, I said, yo. I hit I hit I hit I hit the next day it happened at practice. You you to the side. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I hit I hit Zaya, I'm like, I had the page, I'm like, yeah, that's the Mel Jackson son, ain't it? <laughs> I said, yo, yeah, I said, that's the Mel Jackson, I know who that is. He's like, yeah, man. Like, like, bro, that nigga run just like you, bro. He's a, he's like he's a spitting image of you. You feel me? And that shit eight. at eight, bro. That shit is amazing. But yeah, we are gonna wrap <coughs> this up. Be high notes. NSG episode seven with Blue Rats from the Candy Shop. Rated ten out of ten. You feel me? A couple nine point fives, eight point fives down the line. But overall. 10 out of 10, you feel me? You're going to get high. You're going to smoke when you smoke this. This is everything you're looking for, man. I know. Holla at y'all, man. Get with y'all, man. Gang.